Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com where we have cheap, easy land. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property I'd like to show you. This one's in Mendocino County, California. It's about an eighth of an acre, and I'm asking $9,999. There's trees all over the place, so you can be in the woods, kind of mountainous woods feel with some neighbors around, which makes it a paved road. It's a power line. There's a water line, a sewer line, so you don't have to build much of any infrastructure but maybe a driveway <laughs> in a house, right? Just focus on the good stuff. Um, if you want to go for this one, there's a buy it now button on the website. Let's make sure that works. Yeah, 9999 title, tax address, contact information, next. Put your credit card information in there. It's yours. You can start using it the same day. Um, there's a link also on the website. To get to my website, to get to this listing I'm talking about, there's a link in the description box of this video. But on so when you're there, there's a link um, to get to the community website. And the community website, the community is called Brook Trails Township or Brook Trails Vacation Village. It's a township. It's not an HOA. It's a township, and they uh, maintain this area and keep track of lots of nature, lots of landscape, lots of redwood trees and forests that they've preserved for the benefit of this community. So you can live in the redwoods and uh, yeah golf there's the golf course but you can go um, explore the area there's lots of trails you know walk your dog and hike and bike and and explore um, and one of the news the newest news releases on here is about uh, water uh, they're back open for business you can hook up your water lines and build a house um, you know the water lines always been there it's just they they're open for new connections right now so you can build you can add on a build. It's raining. It's uh, you know, I was checking out the weather. Like pretty much every day this week, it's raining something. And it's like 50 degrees, and we're in January, mid-January. It's like 50 degrees and raining, and um, not massive rains, but you know, pleasant, fun rains to enjoy. So and also on this website, you can uh, look at planning and design, and uh, building permits, building you know what what you have to do to get this thing get this uh, get to be able to build and here's um, development standards process in Brook Trails Township basically you have to hand in a uh, a set of plans for your house uh, and they stamp it and then you can take that to the I think they keep it but they stamp it and give you approval uh, and they charge you 180 bucks and there's a guy there once a week that does that and so it should be a pretty short process um, and you take three sets of plans to the county you get their approvals and building permits and then you can break ground and start building a house um, you have to buy the water connection and the sewer connection um, they've got paperwork about that and prices and things on the website for that as well so it's a really straightforward process all laid out on the internet and um, you can go build a house in the woods it's about two and a half ish, a little over two and a half hours to San Francisco proper, downtown San Francisco, the Bay Area, you know, give or take, depending on where you're going in the Bay Area. And so it's a weekend trip out of the Bay Area. You could drive straight north up the 101 through Santa Rosa and, you know, get up, up that way and um, have your own place in the woods. You could. You could work from there, um, part time, full time. You know, most people working on on the internet, telecommunications nowadays, anyway. And uh, you can have the peace and quiet of the woods. So I pulled up um, you know, a grocery store. The closest grocery store is about seven miles away. It goes through town and down into Willits. There's a high school. There's all kinds of stuff. I was, I was. This is what I got off of Google. It's a grocery store. It's a bargain market. Um, but there's a Rite Aid over here. There's a couple uh, pizza restaurants, different restaurants, donuts, car wash, rent a car, Mexican auto parts, gas station, tires, couple tire places, a um, couple different hotel motels, McDonald's. Brewed Awakening is a coffee shop, I guess. A um, couple more motel, hotel things. Burger King, gas station, Super 8. 
A lot of lodging. I'm surprised there's that much lodging in town. Safeway, that might be better groceries than the other one that came up. So I think there's two grocery stores there. Chevron's charging $3 a gallon right now. Here's another market. I wonder what this one is. Looks like I can get fruits and vegetables here too. Mariposa market. That looks like a good picture. There you go. Some fresh fruits and vegetables. You see the prices on there? 59 cents for a lemon. Limes, $2 a pound. Seems okay. There's the actual market. Looks like a friendly place. I got bulk supplies of stuff. I mean, I could I could cook meals off of that place. Organic and natural foods. There you go. That's where I'd shop. Nice big black SUV in the parking lot. There's one of the shoppers. Okay, so let's move on. Um, the uh, the highway just south of there, the 20, looks entertaining. It goes through a whole bunch of state forest. And uh, it's a winding road, but it shoots out to Fort Bragg. So Fort Bragg's not that far away. And I point out Fort Bragg because I like to fish, and I'm always looking at local fishing. I mean, there's there's uh, all kinds of fly fishing in these hills, too. Lots of lots of streams to go fly fishing. But I like fishing in the ocean as well. So ocean fishing is not that far away. It's like, a mo it's like an hour away. I'm basically doing that here in San Diego, get through traffic, get to the boat launch. I don't think there's much of any traffic shooting a road like this. And going over here, there's a boat launch. Just, uh, let's see, let's pull up the satellite. I think it's up here. Here's a boat launch. Look at this. Two or three cars in there. <laughs> you get the place to yourself. Park the boat, you know. Go make it happen. Shoot, shoot out. If you don't want to, if you want to keep it in the water, you can park it in the harbor. If you don't want a boat, there's a bunch of people here you can rent. You know, it looks like fishing tour kinds of boats. Go see what they catch. Go catch some salmon, I would assume. Rockfish? I don't know. Ask them, see what they do. should give them a call. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the fishing of the area. And then there's beaches. There's beaches all along here, too. There's this beach. I was looking at this one. It doesn't seem like a very easy access. If you just go north of here, there's a whole bunch of beaches. Here's um, no, just beaches along the coast so you could go enjoy. There's more beaches. This one looks easy access. Nobody around. See some parking? I like free parking, right? I think you just park along the side of the road and walk over there. Looks pretty laid back. Yeah, you can go go take a look at the take a look at the beach, State Marine Conservation Area. So can't fish right there, but I'm sure this coastline's full of fish. I pulled up redwoods on Instagram. This is the kind of trees. There's also some oak trees mixed in and some Douglas fir. But uh, the redwoods are the big bad boys here. Look at this picture. Kids playing in the trees. That's what it's all about, right? Um, this person got the tree tattooed on them. Here's some trees, trees, trees. So here's the most recent ones. Look at these trees. That's a nice shot of some trees. You could live in the trees like this and watch the trees grow. You can sit on your porch with a cup of coffee in the morning and just look at them swaying in the breeze birds flying through chirping this is a cute one you know just trees 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 so that's the kind of area that this property is in here are some lot lines this is of the wrong property actually give me a second here let's update this sorry about that I usually a little more on top of it um, we'll come back to that in a sec well, that's the lot line so I pulled up a house here this seems to be a really popular housing plan that's sold on houseplans.com and it's a really generic looking one 
but I was looking at the notes of it and it's saying the key to this thing is uh, it's called a flex house is to create a design that's almost a custom home plan because of the many options you can select so you can go through a bunch of different options you can add more bedrooms you can change the orientation of the garage um, to, you can just change it it's really easy to change and so they've got the garage here I mean you could have the cars come in this way or this way or or this way and um, the bedrooms I think you can add on more bedrooms let's see how they would add on more bedrooms maybe you'd add a hallway in here and just add a whole row of bedrooms if you have lots of kids or you can make these bigger I mean there's lots of ways to change this one I think is what they're saying oh look you can reverse it um, so for like a thousand bucks they got these plans that's uh, 81 foot by 52 foot I mean that would fit into the lot um, three bedroom two and a half bath one story two car garage 2300 square foot house you know just a basic house house and uh, two by six framing is what they're doing and just really basic everything construction knock out a house there's lots of houses to choose from this looks like the same house and different options like adding rotating and different different things you can look you can buy different versions of it depending on how you want to lay it out and you'd want to lay it out by looking at the lot see if this, this lot still didn't load but if we go back here there's GPS coordinates we click the GPS coordinates from the, the website you can see the lot this way too so we're on bear drive here's the lot and uh, if we go to satellite you can see the lot here and if we zoom out you can see that there's some neighbors here and some neighbors here and uh, if we zoom in you can see that there's a power line here um, I'm not sure I see a transformer right there but there's a power line right there I'm sure it'd be easy enough to, to add on and hook in and then you're in the trees here and so you could build a house in the trees you could build a driveway going up into it and uh, just nestle it hide it right back in the trees I don't think there's much of any traffic that goes down a road like this. It's just a quiet, basic street. You probably see turkey walking through there every now and then. Deer, squirrels, birds, all kinds of nature. You probably have raccoons at night too. You probably have to make sure your trash is locked down. But, you know, just a lot of nature in the woods like that, right? And there's water lines and sewer lines on this street. So you don't have to build that stuff. It's all set up and ready to go. Let's see if this is back. Yeah, this is working. So here's the street. It's almost the end of the street. Look at that. One, two, two houses. No, three houses beyond you to the end of the street. So that'd be hardly any traffic whatsoever. Right off the side of the street in the woods. And go make it happen. That could be your property. That was the house design I was looking at. Let's take a little closer look there. I'm curious. You know, I, I do this for myself because I'd like to build one of these houses, and I'm not sure what kind of plans I'd like to pick out, so I'm always looking at different ones, right? Sorry if it takes up your time. But uh, there's a lot of different versions. So that, that's the house. You could drive right up to that, hide it in the woods. I mean, this thing deserves some deckage. Putting it in the woods, I put deck all over the place in the front. This isn't using any of the outside at all, the way this is set up. It's just a bunch of grass to mow. Yeah, right. Um, no, okay, so they got the hangout in the back. Pool, blocks, stuff, but that's their version. You can do your own version. I pulled up the taxes on this property. It looks like I've been a bad boy and I haven't kept the taxes paid up. I'm sorry about that. I'll get them paid up. I'll work on that today. And um, so this one here is April of 2018 is due. I think I'll get that paid. So the next tax that you'd have to pay would be this December, December 12th instead of 2017. It'd be 2018. Yeah, 2018 December would be the next tax bill if you buy this thing in, in short order. Um, looks like they're charging $116 twice a year, so 200 32.44, if I can do the math, um, is what they're charging. So that's the property. If you want this one, click the link below. 
go take a tour, go check it out. Look at the you know requirements and everything, get some housing plans, give that to the local community, give it to the county, go build a house. You buy the property, build a house. That's what it's for. You get started today. No reason to hesitate. Just go bang it out. Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is the right one for you. If you like to hear more of these presentations of properties, cheap, easy land, hit the subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. Thanks.